This is the book of Revelation, chapter 11, and verse 14, and it reads to the Holy Scriptures. It says, The second will pass, behold, the third will come quickly. This is the book of Joel, chapter 3, verse 9. It says, Proclaim ye this amongst the Gentiles, prepare war, wake up the mighty man, let all the men of war draw near, and let them come up. Shalom, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem Makar Kadash. And the Heavenly Father's true name is uh, Yahweh, and his only back, and his only got the son, Bahashem. In the name of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, those are their true names in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, the Lashma Kadash, the Holy Tongue. Shalom to the uh, elders for preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the uh, Akim, scattered through four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well, too. And I say Shalom. And this is a uh, news article of the sit down lesson that I want to bring out from the JerusalemPost.com. As of October the 22nd, 2023. And it reads U.S. brace for. Iranian proxy attacks as Israel faces possible to front war. It says there are ready, there are ready, some 2,000 U.S. troops are ready to be deployed. It says the United States increases its military forces in the Middle East as it braced for an increased Iranian proxy attacks against American targets. As Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu works to avoid a two front war with Tyran back groups. We are concerned at the possibility of the Iranian proxy escalating their attacks against our own personnel, our own people, Blinken told CBS on Sunday. We are taking every measure to make sure that we can defend them and if necessary, responds decisively. It says U.S. Senator Lindsey Graham warned Iran that if this world war grows, it's coming to your backyard during a Tel Aviv press conference. The, I believe, yeah, the press conference was uh, as of early of yesterday and today as well, too, if, uh, if I believe. But most likely it was yesterday because I remember they had that little press conference. It says, I'm going to read it again. It says the U.S. Secretary Lindsey Graham warned Iran that if this war grows, it's coming to your backyard during a Tel Aviv press conference. The U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin said late Saturday that Washington would send more assets to the Middle East, both in support of Israel and to strengthen the U.S. defense posture in the region. Two carrier strike groups and 2,000 troops. I redirect the movement of the USS Dwight D. M. Heimsheimer carrier strike group to the Central Command area of the responsibility, Austin said. This carrier strike group is in addition to the USS Gerald R. Ford carrier strike group, which is currently operating in the Eastern Mediterranean Sea, he added. A terminal high altitude defense. THAD THAAD system is extra patriot air defense system with platoons will be sent to the region and more troops are uh, put on standby he said they are already some 2,000 troops ready to be deployed these steps Austin told ABC sends another message to those who seek to widen this conflict we spoke to the 16 we spoke on the 16th day of the uh, Gaza war, which began on October 7th, when Hamas infiltrated Israel's southern border, killed over 1,400 civilians and soldiers, and taking other 212 people hostage. Over 4,500 people have been killed in Gaza, either due to the IDF aerial strikes or failed Palestinian rocket launch. It says Israel has prepared to follow these bombings with a ground campaign outlaws Hamas, which has forcefully controlled 2.3 billion, 2.3 million people in Gaza since the violent siege control of the enclave in 2007. 
if it has received wide support for that action from the United States as the international diplomatic activities focus on freezing the hostage and preventing Hezbollah from attacking Israel. Blinken told NBC on Sunday that we have sent a very strong message to try to deter Hezbollah, deter Iran more directly from opening up a second front. Bitsman Antiyahu said on Sunday visiting the IDF commander bridge in the north and the brief by military commanders by the IDF actions in all spheres, including the West Bank. At the moment, I cannot tell you if Hezbollah will decide to fully enter war or not, Netanyahu said, as military exchange with the proxy group based in Lebanon increasing in Israeli communities in the region were evacuated. If Hezbollah decides to enter the war, it will wish for a second Lebanon war. It will be making a mistake of its life. It will strike. We will strike it with a force that it cannot even imagine that will be destructive for it and for the Lebanese state, Netanyahu said. We are now in a double battle. One battle is to block them, the enemy. Here in the north, the second battle in the south is to win with a crushing victory that will erase Hamas, Netanyahu said. We underscore an existent, existent, existential natural of war, particularly in the south. We are fighting for our lives, for our home, and this is not aggravating. This is war, Netanyahu said. He also held a series of phone calls with Western heads of the state, such as U.S. President Joe Biden, Spanish Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez, French President Marco, and Dutch Prime Minister, who is expected to visit on Monday and Tuesday, and Marco also expected to arrive on Tuesday. On Saturday night, uh, Netanyahu hosts Italian President uh, Minister Giragallo Meliani in Capitol Rock. President Nicolas Christoulidis, if I pronounce the name right, Salaki. Iranian security officials told Reuters Iran strategy was for the Middle East proxies like Hezbollah to pursue limited strikes on Israeli and U.S. targets, but to avoid a major escalation that would a Right, to avoid a major escalation that would draw in Tehran a high wire act for the Islamic Republic. So I ain't gonna read all the rest of that. Bring out the scriptures again, then I'm gonna close out. And this is the book of Revelation, chapter 11, verse 14. The second will pass, behold, the third. Uh, Revelation 11, 14. The second will pass, behold, the third will come quickly. And this is the book of Joel, chapter 3, verse 9. Salaki, my apology. I meant to say Joel, chapter 3, verse 9, and it reads to the Holy Scriptures. Proclaim ye this amongst the Gentiles, prepare war, wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near and let them come up. And this is the book of Matthews. <clears throat> And this is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 6, and through verse 7. And this is from the BibleGateway.com, and it reads, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you be not troubled for all these things must first come to pass, but the end is not yet. Matthew 24, and verse 7. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. So hopefully this uh, lesson was uh, edifying of this uh, recent news article. Uh, what's uh, taking place over there in the uh, Middle East. From the JerusalemPost.com, published by Chaval Yagzakov. If I pronounce his name right, published by him from the JerusalemPost.com. As of October the 22nd, 2023, and it reads again. 
U.S. worse for Iranian proxy attacks as Israel faces possible two front wars. So with that, hopefully this uh, lesson was edifying. And with that, I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai Hashem, or Karkadash. And the Heavenly Father's true name is uh, Yahweh and His only begotten Son. The true name is, uh, and the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son. Name is uh, Baha Shem and the name of Hamashiach Yahweh Those are their true names in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, the Lashwan Kadash, the Holy Tongue. Shalom to the uh, elders for preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well, too. And Shalom to the uh, Akim, Wa Akwaf, for preaching the word truthfully. I mean, uh, Salakia. I meant to say uh, Shalom to the uh, Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the uh, Akwaf sisters as well, too. And until next time, I will say Shalom.